hi beautiful people welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i install this beautiful short wig which is like a summer wig actually i have a video on my channel showing you guys how i do my balka method so the exact same makeup i use on the bulk up is the same i'm going to use under the wig this wig uh, is from the factory and i customize it to be like this so you can't get the exact same wig like this i have to customize to get it like that so before we start installing we have to make sure the wig fits the client's head and then you proceed by cutting the ear tabs so make sure you measure it very well before you cut the, the ear tabs Also, make sure you cut the ear tab in such a way that it covers every part of the ear if you cut anything too much you have to it, it you can make you can reverse it it's better you cut it you have more lace than it, it doesn't have lace I don't know if you get the point make sure you cut exact same size okay so after that you make sure you check your work if it's actually how it's supposed to be and then you proceed with cleaning the hairline because after you place the, the the makeup there was makeup on her skin so in order to take off the oil from the makeup from her face you clean it with your alcohol and then you use your skin guard from favy and then you proceed with three coats of favy glue actually uh, the footage where i put the glue got missing and i don't know where i can find it but yes, after that, you have to lay the wig on her head like I'm doing. Make sure you massage it very well. I actually put it right up in front because uh, I overplucked the lace. And yes, I needed to pull it in front because the wig was a little bit bigger. So I needed to cut the lace in such a way that it still fits her wig. But make sure the ears are supposed to be where the ears are supposed to be. You understand? <laughs> So now I'm massaging the head, um, the the lace into the hair, and then I will use my big elastic band to actually help it melt. Well, actually, this is not a meltdown process. This is just to press the lace into the hair very well. Okay. So after that, I'm going to take off the rubber band. It was on her head for like 10 minutes, and yeah. I'm going to take off the rubber band and I'm going to cut the lace and then I will make sure I put the glue where I missed it after cutting the lace okay so I always cut the lace in sections and then use my uh, razor eyebrow razor to actually cut it I don't use the scissors to cut it because I want it to have like this not too sharp effect so use your uh, Razor to actually cut it like as you see me doing i take out some hair to make sure if i follow the hairline so i'm only taking out some of the hair because like i said i brought the wigs the um, lace in front right in front of her hairline like more than past her hairline so i needed to cut off the extra hair because it was over plucked anyways look how it blends with the skin because we use the perfect makeup uh, that suits her skin to use under the on her and use on her her <sighs> wig cap guys please try to understand me okay i stopped making videos because i don't like explaining things too much so like i said you cut the lace first with the scissors in sections and then use your blade to actually trim the extra lace out now you can see how it's almost perfect and so now we are going to be i'll put a little bit of glue up behind my hand which is wrong but it works for me and then i'm going to actually fix those places where i missed the glue so it's better to miss the glue miss the lace than putting the the glue above above the hairline like 
further away from the above the hairline it's better to miss the it is better for the lace to be without glue so that you go back and put the glue than the lace like the than the glue should be without lace i don't know how to say it understand so i had to go back and put the glue where it's supposed to it was supposed to be and then i will take out the baby hairs use makeup again to actually blend the um, lace with her skin then tie it down again if you use the proper makeup it will blend with your skin this is not hd lace remember this is just a transparent lace so like i said i'm using the makeup again to actually finally blend the to actually do a male down i needed to use the makeup again to actually blend all those spots which are a little bit lighter and then i use my um i use my holding spray again and i spray it on the whole i spread the holding spray on the headline i actually don't have that footage i missed it then i will tie the hairline with a rubber band for like 10 to 20 minutes so after 20 minutes or 10 minutes I'll comb out the baby hair, cut it, and then I will use my brush and my foam to actually create the kind of baby hairs I want. So, baby hairs, the shape of your baby hairs depends on you, solely depends on you. So, today I'm going to do my non-baby hairs, baby hairs, kind of baby hairs. <laughs> like, I'm trying to make baby hairs, but I'm not trying to get baby hairs, you know. So, I'm just trying to get like this jerry coil effect where it's just like it's your hair, but it's not your hair, kind of hair if you understand me just watch you understand what i mean so if you want me to actually show you guys how to get those dramatic baby hairs you let me know down below and i'm going to make other videos showing you how to get dramatic with um, baby hairs i actually use foam from um favy favy on instagram if you follow me on instagram you see i always tag her so you check out her products she has a lot of hair products she has her own hairline which you can order from china she can customize for you and all of that yeah or if you if you don't trust her maybe you can contact me and i'll help you do all of that if you want to customize your hair brand and all of that so this is what i call baby hairs non-baby hairs kind of baby hairs and all of that and this brush i got it from Taobao. actually the use for this brush is for this brush didn't come like this. I actually customized the brush myself. So you have to order, you have to pay for my class so that I can teach you guys a little bit all of these tools, how I customize my tools and how I use, how I get to use this and where to buy these tools anyways. But anyways, if you can't pay, you can always watch my YouTube channel and learn something, one or two from it. I think I literally teach a lot on YouTube too. So this is how I do my baby hairs, non-baby hairs, kind of baby hairs, just like brushing behind, but a little bit of waves going on, a little bit of things going on, yeah. So after this, I will tie it down with my um, Stacey Benz silk band, which you can buy from me. It's just 40 kwai. So um, after this, I'm going to put the mousse on her hair again, and I'm going to use my hair oil, like my body... Um, my hair serum so that it doesn't make the hair to be so stiff you know if you don't put the serum it will make the hair stiff and yeah i'll put her under the dryer for like 30 minutes on that medium heat and then i'll come back and show you guys the end result so guys so this is actually what i meant by baby hairs not baby hairs kind of baby hairs <laughs> i'm just going to use my hot comb again to actually not make it too like molded like that just soften it and then yeah that's pretty how i installed this beautiful short summer looking kind of wig yeah look how melted it is 
yeah if you follow my steps please kindly tag me on instagram at stacy benz weeks and yeah if you want to order this same week on inbox me on instagram stacy benz we just check out the description box you will see everything there yeah so this oil too is available for those of you in china you want to buy this oil it's the oil which i use for all my curly wigs and also on my natural hair yeah so guys if you enjoyed this video please give me a big fat thick thumbs up and also share this video with your hairstylist with your friends and family share it with everybody who needs to see it and please enjoy the rest of the video let me know what you want to see next thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye